could not believe I didn't. that Bill Clinton actually apologized for his wife's age, well, height, and gender. Clarification. I wanted to see the context. Perhaps he was joking. Perhaps it, you know, wasn't so bad if you actually heard him say it. Right, I'm well, praying. Let's let's hear Bill Clinton <laughs> say it. Uh, this is Bill Clinton last night talking about some of the problems that he's having leading his wife to a victory in New Hampshire over Barack Obama. If you need a president, you want Hillary. If you want a new story, you want somebody else. We can't be a new story, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. I can't make her younger, taller, male. There's lots of things I can't do. Yeah, he, he's in a college bar right there, and yeah. he got a laugh line. I would guess Hillary Clinton's not laughing this morning. <laughs> um, it, 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 it's stunning, Timmy. Yeah. Uh, he, he, again, what Bill Clinton is doing is he's covering himself, saying it's not my fault, just like he blamed the Clinton campaign for not getting the youth vote more aggressively well, in a, Iowa. I, I, yeah, I mean, at some so point... So he is, he's out there, instead of campaigning for his wife, he's campaigning for himself, saying, not my fault. Mm. I can't make her a man. Is that how you see it? What do you mean, I mean is that how I, I see I, it? I just, uh. I don't know. I try wow. to give people the benefit of the doubt. So it's sort, sort of a new version of triangulation. Yeah, it is a new version <laughs> of triangulation. Let's bring it right now. Steve Forbes, he's the president and CEO of Forbes.